Folks, welcome to my crib. This is my house, my kitchen, the Casa de la Nasty. Now, we've got a problem. And the problem is, Jess is moving in, and she demands a kitchen table, small things like a kitchen table, and less engines in the house. Now, I know you're thinking the thumbnail of this video was a party bus. What, is this th what does this have to do with a party bus? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you. So the party bus, I bought this thing, let's see, I bought it in 2021, paid 300 bucks for it. It had a title. It ran, but it w didn't, wouldn't go into gear at all. Had five neutrals, wouldn't move. Um, the place I used to work at, they ran the party. I was their mechanic. So I bought it for 300 bucks. Ended up welding the flex plate right there in the parking lot and drove it. It was like a, it was like a, a revive and drive way back when I first started the channel. But now if you go back and watch, don't watch them because they're like, they're horrible garbage. Anyway, I took an hour and a half of the three episodes of the bus and I condensed them down into six minutes because we're getting ready to do another revival on the bus that hasn't moved since 2021 to bring up here and park next to the garage because all of these beautiful treasures need to go into the bus. This is my home. Not a lot of YouTubers will take you into their home, but me, I don't care. Like, you guys are part of what we do around here, so you might as well come along. But yeah, so let's go out and show the folks the bus as it sits now. And then we're gonna do like, I, like I said, I condensed all that footage of the bus episodes into six hopefully watchable minutes to kind of give you guys a backstory on the bus so that the next episode, when we get it running again and bring it up here, you'll kind of, you'll be in the loop. And see, we bought the forklift to help the loading of all this stuff into the bus, as well as moving the, because the bus is actually going to go where that 59 is currently sitting. So we got, that's why the forklift is going to come into, come into its own. And when we do the bus revival, because I've got a lot of stuff to move. We might drag that old girl out and get it running because it hasn't been running in a couple years. It's a 1942 Dodge WC54 ambulance. Also, does anybody need a good top for a uh, brick no bullnose Bronco? We've got it. Now the problem is this truck frame is in the, this Dodge frame's in the way. That fusel frame's in the way. Tire mountains in the way because also the bugs in the way. Everything's in the damn way. But here is the bus. This is the $300 party bus. It is a 1995 International. It's got a DT-466, Allison 545, and a welded flex plate. Literally, I made the, vid the original videos, drove it here, kind of used it as a shed, and it hasn't moved since. Now, it has air brakes. The thing I'm worried about is I'm really hoping these air brakes aren't stuck because sometimes when they sit, they kind of rust up and don't want to come out of it. Hopefully it starts, no problems, real easy, just a bunch of stuff to move. We've had quite a bit of rain and next week is supposed to be dry. And this is very weather dependent because I've had this thing stuck before. It's not fun, it's a mess. But yeah, this is her. If you went to Terre Haute, Indiana schools and rode bus, 5-7 from 1996 to 2000 ish this is your bus she's had a rough life ever <laughs> after school things got a little rough for it um yeah it, honestly got this is just it's kind of junk storage right now like i said hasn't moved it's sinking into the ground it's got plants growing in it she's a little sad it's full of wasps um Oh, that snake skin looks very nice. Yeah. So next week we are doing a revival on this beautiful, horrible bus. Hope, like I said, hopefully it just it's not very dramatic. It's just a lot of work. And then that way we're going to park it right next to the garage so that Jess, I can move all my engines and my treasures out of the house. You know, kind of build onto the garage, if you will. Jess can have her space. My engines are under a cover and my new shop edition is actually up by the shop because it's a real pain in the butt to have to walk all the way out here every time I need 
to look for something. And we're gonna put you all in a time machine, send you back to 2021, a much younger, more on drugs me was fixing this bus right there in the parking lot because I had no way to tow it or trailer it here. Behold the latest acquisition, I guess. Maybe mistake. Now I just gotta figure out how the hell to get it home. I used to ride one of these back in the day. It's a hell of a lot shorter though. This is it. In all its glory. Ready? Here's that. Uh, it's got one stripper pole left. Hopefully see if it'll start. Never had a bus before, so that's kind of exciting, I guess. It's a DT-466. Like I said, it's the Allison 545 out back. Which, eh, it's a little low. But it's got some air brakes, which did work. The rear suspension is air. So, worst case, transmission's got to come off. See what the hell's going on in there. So, I'm not opposed to cutting this floor out. You know, where I would need to. And I can get my cherry picker up in here, damn near. First, I just want to see if I can get it to start running and stay running. Hitting this primer. It didn't seem to be getting me a whole lot of much. And being that the fuel tank's, I want to say, clear in the back on this son of a bitch. Ain't nobody got time for that. I don't know. Okay. It's coming out that deal. Hold on. God damn it, we're right there. here I want to get this damn thing cherry picker inside the bus I think side door is gonna be the best bet I do have this one's definitely a first for me I've never had it to where I can't get my cherry picker to where I needed to go to lift a transmission because the stripper pole of the vehicle is in the way. I'd say that got it. Bonus points if you blew out a fucking window. And we're gonna pretend like concrete masonry is Spanish for bus floor. Pay no mind to that. I'm not going to lie. This whole getting a bus thing has turned into an event. Well, there you have it. There's your problem. As you can see, the whole center of that flex plate, well, it just decided to fall off. Anytime it was running, basically, this was spinning and this wasn't. So, it, of course, it shooed some of it off.
can't be done. So we're gonna find out. So while Operation Weld the Flex Plate was a success, as you can see, it turned a little, you know, curly. One thing I will say was I've been beating the shit out of this thing, heating it, cooling it, bending it, and not one of these welds broke, so confident there as far as it being able to flex and not break. And now I'm just going to go ahead and bolt that flex plate in up in there and see about sliding this nightmare back together. How many neutrals have it got now? But yeah, I still got uh, the floor sunroof. Don't get stuck. And the footage of driving at home was horrible, except for when I almost flipped it into the ditch at the local bar because you have to stop at the local bar. But the old girl made it the 16 miles home with no issue, even though it only had one battery explode and the alternator quit. It's kind of bigger in the daytime. So yeah, that that should catch every, that should catch everybody up. Am I moving my arms around enough? Like, no, not quite. Okay, well that should catch everybody up on the bus. The story of the bus. Keep your eyes out because we've got yet another revival video on this bus. Hopefully it does it does what it's supposed to do. And it goes up there and it this is the new addition to the Nasty Customs shop. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a blessed day.